Hi, it's Vivian Taylor. How many Elvis impersonators does it take to fill the Graceland Chapel in Vegas? The answer is not many. The Graceland Chapel is not all that big. It's a sweet little place originally built in 1927, right next to the Hotel Oaktel, which boasted electric heat on the neon sign out front. I don't think anyone cared about the kind of heat they had or anything else. Maybe that the doors closed on the rooms, and maybe not even that. The thing about how many Elvis impersonators gets complicated because the thing with Elvis impersonators is if you put out the call, they all show up. Seriously, all of them. And there are a lot of them. The Google says that the current record for the most Elvis impersonators in one room was made at Harris Cherokee Casino Resort in 2014 and consisted of 895 impersonators. That's a lot. I think you'd have to open up some of the additional ballroom access at the Flamingo to avoid trouble with a fire marshal. And let's be clear, 895 is just the number of Elvis impersonators. That does not include all the Elvis impersonator band members and Elvis impersonator entourage members and Elvis impersonator group not to mention all the guys hawking all their Elvis impersonator merchandise and Elvis impersonator food and beverage items that come with their own Elvis impersonator collectible mugs, keychains, and bottle openers. And let's not forget the largest Elvis impersonator festival in the world, the Michigan Elvis Fest, founded in 1999, held each year at the Wayne County Fairgrounds in Bellevue, Michigan, where Elvises from around the world come each year to celebrate the king. Yep, let's take a moment and remember that 45 plus years after his untimely and rather embarrassing death, on the toilet of the penthouse bathroom in the International Hotel, we really owe Elvis and his impersonator minions a debt of gratitude because they are really the ones keeping the American economy strong, one collectible bottle opener at a time. And just like a terrible traffic accident you just can't stop ogling, I googled Graceland and even the home of Elvis is officially in the Elvis impersonator business. And if you hurry, you can still win yourself a spot in the semi-final round of Elvis Week 2024. See a current list of preliminary contest locations. Look, all I really want to do is tell you about our trip last week to Vegas to see all the cool kids and all their cool and immersive interactive entertainment stuff. I can't help it if all this stuff is just sitting on the internet waiting to be found. You should look at it as a gift. I seek out the weird and oft times creepy corners of the internet so you don't have to. And then I curate a hilariously strange and highly entertaining few minutes that saves you from doom scrolling the relentlessly crappy news of the day. You're welcome. Okay, let's get to it before we run out of newsletter. Victoria and I went to Vegas because we think this is obviously a great home for Allison and all our immersive and interactive shows. We went to the Sphere and the amazing folks at Area 15 gave us an incredible BTS tour of all the crazy cool madness they have going on over there. We could have easily spent a few days exploring Area 15, but we didn't. We did manage to squeeze in the Asylum Bar and Arcade, Brainstorm, Wink World, insanely delicious ribs of the Beast, and a crazy fun time at Illuminarium. And Lost Spirits Distillery, which includes multiple rum tastings with your admission. Victoria says I had a good time. Las Vegas is pretty much an immersive experience unto itself, and places like Area 15 make it even cooler. We love their neighborhood, and we know our shows would make an excellent, interesting, and appropriately weird new addition to the neighborhood. You can vouch for us. Here are some picks. Vegas, baby, Vegas. That's it. I'm not gonna get all mushy. See ya, Kevin. P.S. The website is a hunk of hunk of burning love. The socials are just a dumpster fire. Now, I just want to point out the extreme tackiness of this shirt. It took a while to find something that could match the casino carpets. Do you have anything in your wardrobe that matches casino carpets? Just saying.